Happy Homebrew Wednesday, B's and G's. Greetings from the uh, from the ride to my band night. Um, I'm not going to call it band practice because we don't practice for anything. But Wednesdays, I go and play with some guys and we just kind of jam and hang out and usually sample a few craft beers. Uh, not too many because it is a little bit of a drive and I don't like to uh, I don't like to have too many beers if I've got to drive. So, um, what's going on? Sorry about the uh, funky angle. I figured that this might be the best one. Everything else, uh, there's no real good uh, car position and I don't have a GoPro to mount up nicely or anything fancy schmancy. But, figured I'd do a little update video because it's getting harder and harder to carve out the five or ten minutes to do a video and then the uh, 20 minutes or so or better to do the editing um, but I don't have any brewing footage so I figured what the heck I just do this and throw it up nice and easy uh, what's going on I am, I am registered for the SJ poor challenge the smackdown and uh, so you'll you'll be uh, up against a former winner of the uh, challenge here uh, in round two. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm a little disappointed that I don't get a chance to try any of the beers from round one. So I'm just going to voice my opinion there and say, feel like I'm getting ripped off. I should have had a discount on the registration fees. What do you guys think? You know, I don't get to taste any of those delicious entries in round one. But it's kind of cool too. Gives me more time to uh, figure out what I'm going to enter. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas, a couple things. I've got some good recipes that um, have, you know, pretty established recipes. I've also got some new ideas. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of roll the dice and go with one that I like and then uh, go from there. But I've got a little bit of time. So I figured. This month, uh, maybe early next month, I'll throw it down. I gotta look at the schedule and figure it out uh, when I need to have my beer in. I don't don't even remember, but uh, everything's there at sjpoorchallenge.org for all of the, those uh, that don't know. Uh, it's a it's an awesome competition, and uh, but I've had a lot of fun doing it in the past. I've been in three different ones. Uh, the first one I entered back in 2014 ended up somehow being uh, world champion, which uh, still blows my mind to this day. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and that beer was uh, was pretty good. So, uh, what else is going on? I've got uh, I did some brewing last not last weekend, the weekend before, and my neighbor and I brewed collectively between the two of us 25 gallons. I did. Uh, he did a five gallon extract batch and then we did a batch a 10 gallon batch together and then i did a second 10 gallon batch and uh the first beer we did i don't know what he did oh he did an irish red kit and then the second beer was cloud hopper version three and so i had to make a couple of changes the malt bill is um pretty much the same as the first go round, the very first version but for whatever reason, I ended up with uh, about a half, more than half a point uh, more in ABV. So I was 5.6 on my first brew, and this one was 6.3. So yay to efficiency, I guess. Uh, the hops are slightly changed. I didn't bitter with, the first time I did a bittering charge, like a quarter ounce of Warrior. This time I did um, just over a quarter ounce of Centennial, and then I was short on uh, Amarillo, so I changed it up and I used um, Cascade Cryo, and so far it's, it's tasting awesome. That beer showcases HBC 431 hops and Strata hops. And if you, if you guys haven't had a beer with Strata yet, um, seek one out. That That is uh, my new favorite hop. 
uh, at the moment. HBC 431 is a close second, and I haven't been able to find that until just recently when I had some scouts out at uh, Homebrew Con uh, back in the uh, end of June. They uh, talked to the guys over at Yakima Valley Hops, and they must have gotten some from one of the growers, uh, one of the farms, and stocked up. So uh, HBC 431, guys, check it out. Go over to YakimaValleyHops.com and pick yourself up some. Um, they are awesome, uh, and they've got them at a really nice price. So strongly encourage you to try them. Do a single hop beer. It'll turn out fantastic, trust me. Uh, make sure you do a big whirlpool or ginormous uh, dry hop with them. They are uh, glorious. Um, so anyway, I'll do some tasting notes on that beer here soon. I uh, just kegged it this week, Monday night, late, and uh, just checked the carbonation. It's not quite ready. So um, it will be probably next day or so it'll be ready to go. But it tastes awesome. It tastes so good. And that, So that beer is only like 10 days old today. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else? I also said the double double IPA that I brewed was actually a, a recipe. Uh, I found an old recipe that Elder and I did a number of years back called Two Headed Snake, and it was like an eight percent, seven and a half, eight percent beer. This one turned out to be seven point eight, I think, seven point six, something like that. It's a big one, so I'll say it's a double double IPA. Um, it has got it has got uh, some nuggets. I changed all the hops in that beer because I didn't have some of them, but the hop bill is pretty awesome. It's all over the place. It's got uh, nuggets, elders nuggets. It's got um, boy. It's got Idaho Seven. It's got Ella. It's got cashmere and maybe something else. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm driving too, so it's hard for me to recall. But because I changed it all up and I added Elder's Nuggets, I'm going to go ahead and change the name. So it's, it's based loosely on the, um, the two-headed snake recipe, but... We're gonna call it Elder's Juicy Nuggets because the sample, the gravity sample, before dry hops even, was incredibly juicy. I mean, it was like drinking fresh squeezed orange juice with uh, some vodka. I mean, it was, it's, it's got some alcohol, but it's not burning, you know, it's not a, a hot alcohol, so it's good. Uh, so yeah, that beer is, is rad, it's uh, got it just dry hopped it. I got 10 gallons of that, maybe 11. And um, they'll probably keg that this weekend, if not uh, Friday. So probably Friday. Um, other than that, the kids went back to school this week. So it's been crazy uh, getting back into the routine of getting up and getting them off to school every day and dealing with homework and teachers and counselors and schedules and whew. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, this last weekend, I went on a camp out with my boys, which was cool. It was a scouting, uh, scouting camping trip. It was just a single night, but we ended up um, down at the uh, Fort Benning, which is uh, down in Columbus, Georgia. Fort Benning is an army base, and we did the uh, the infantry museum, which was great. Uh, free museum, super super well put together. I think they did a really nice job. Uh, they've, they've, I guess this is the third version, but it's really nice. And then we camped out, and then Sunday morning, the boys went whitewater rafting on the uh, Chattahoochee that goes right through downtown Columbus. So that was badass. Those guys had a blast. Um, got some really good pictures don't think I'm going to get a chance to put them on here because I'm going to try to upload this directly from my phone. So one shot, one and done, baby. One and done. One shot, one take, one kill. <clears throat> so they did the camp out, did the whitewater rafting, and then back to school the next day. Hooey, right? Crazy. 
Um, yeah, things are good. Things are uh, things are moving along. Uh, we've got uh, we've got some more beers in the works. I'm gonna be doing a yellow rose clone. So that is, uh, gosh, what is that? Um, the Lone Pint is the brewery out of uh, Houston. They make a great beer. It's a smash. It's Pilsner and Mosaic and um, just USO5 Chico yeast. So I'm going to be throwing that one down. I've been kind of, I've been wanting to get through a lot of these hops that I've got in my freezer. So i uh, put a pretty good dent in them on the last brew day, uh, we'll, but we'll be, we'll be blasting through some more of them here soon, so, and that beer is just straight delicious, it's like 6%, and it's, um, just mosaic, lovely, lovely mosaic, Pilsner and mosaic is such a great combo, so, anyway, uh, that's coming, I got some other cool stuff, I've got stuff that I've been meaning to get to to document and show you guys here, um, some equipment stuff and some different things, plans for the future. So I will get to that. I just need to find the time, and that's that's the challenge. So um, it's not like it used to be when uh, somehow I found time to watch videos, make videos, edit videos, and still, you know, take care of the family stuff. And now it's just the kids are getting older, and it's just crazy. But anyway, um, shout out to all my subscribers. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I promise there's going to be some content that's worth watching rather than a steering wheel and turn signals on crap. So, y'all be good. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers. Tip a cold one for me. And uh, don't forget to homebrew up. Cheers.